All right, guys, little unboxing here. We have a new watch for me. A lot of my unboxings are not watches for me. This one's actually a watch that I bought. So this cover that covers up like the burnt wood looking type material is actually really thick and uh, protected. And it has basically like a, a map, a grid system of different railroads. Because this one is called the Shinola Station Agent. It says on the box, we hope for better things. It will arise from the ashes. So there's some backstory on this, a little history and everything like that. So if we open this up, uh, there's some registration, my name, serial number, all that stuff. There's like a little storybook that comes along with it. So if you want to pause any of that and read it, go for it. I'm not going to recite it for you. And this is not the watch. This is a Chase Durer that's actually a watch that was sent in by my buddy Calico, who I fixed. I've been wearing the Station Agent. It is a automatic Shinola Runwell series, so it has the wire lugs, nice round case. And it is a small second, as you can see, and a beautiful leather strap. Shinola does an amazing job with their straps. And there is a display case back, a little dirty on the back there. As far as I know, these are not limited edition or anything like that. It's definitely a special edition, so I don't know how long it'll stick around. Um, the date I could have done without on this one, but it doesn't interrupt a three, so it's totally fine. You definitely have a nice defined railroad track for the perimeter, and I just love the color tones on this. Really nice warm color for the fall weather that or winter weather we're in right now. Screw down crown. Like I said, it's automatic. It's going to be a Salida, whatever number that you get with the small seconds. I'll look it up for the full video. comes with this little metal thing here. Um, I think, I don't know if there's anything underneath. Just my receipt. So, um, yeah, pretty cool watch. Retails for $14.50. I think that's, that's a stretch. I think that's a, st a stretch for this watch. Um, I think for a lot of people, it still could potentially be worth it, but I think a lot of Shinola customers are not really after the automatic versions of the watches. That's reserved more for us watch enthusiasts, and their marketing and their past practices tend to turn off a lot of people with the brand. So they have some ground to make up. So it's nice to see them do the automatic watches and these special editions. They always have really good kits. So um, this was one that the last time I was downtown Detroit and went in there, uh, I just kind of connected with it. And I met up with um, a friend that I've met a little while ago, he was actually working at an outlet, and then he ended up working downtown, um, Jesse. So uh, he helped me get this thing and get it sorted out, and I intend to wear it. So it's going to get scratched up. It's going to get, you know, banged around a little bit like that, but I intend to wear it and hold on to it. So thanks, Jesse, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next bit.